I'm going to show you five mistakes golfers make and if you can avoid making these mistakes you will shoot a lower score and improve your handicap. I see a lot of golfers make the mistake of thinking about the negatives on a tee shot. For example, I'm looking down this hole here and the mistake golfers make is think about the trees, the water, the hazards, the rough, how long the hole is, all things that affect you as a golfer. All those negative thoughts will have an impact on how easy you're gonna be able to hit the golf shot. The best players don't think about those negative things, they think about the positives. They think about, well, where do I need to hit this golf shot? How am I gonna see the ball flight? How am I gonna feel when I'm hitting it? Think of all those positive aspects and you will swing easier. So when I'm on this tee, I'm thinking to myself, well, I like this hole. This hole suits my eye. It's got a nice right to left shape. I feel like if I can start it on that tree line and just draw it back into the middle of the fairway, it's all good. I can miss right if I need to. That's a kind of a positive. I don't feel confident with it. See that nice, solid ball flight and commit to it. That is good. First mistake to avoid. Don't think of the negatives, think of the positives. Mistake number two I see golfers make is they don't hit enough club. They overestimate the distance they hit their shots. You might have one time been to a driving range and it might be downwind and downhill and you might have seen that ball roll out over 150 yards with a seven iron, eight iron. But the reality, that's not how far you on average hit your clubs. And there's no rewards for being short. You will lower your score if you get closer to the hole. If you get more closer to pin high, you will definitely improve your score. Take the ego out of it. Believe me, it'll help you. As a little bonus tip, if you can go and see a golf pro, get a proper gap testing on a launch monitor or go out on the golf course where it's nice and quiet and hit shots and really do work out how far on average you hit your clubs and write those distances down, stick them to your golf bag. So when you get to the golf course, you choose the right club. You don't choose one that's gonna go short, you're gonna choose one that's gonna go close and it will help you dramatically lower your score. So the third mistake golfers make is around the green. They'll take too much loft. They'll pull out a sand wedge or a lob wedge for a little short chip like this. And the problem with that is you could quite easily hold it from here, but the issue is the bad shots are gonna be horrendous. Thin it through the green, chipping it just in front of you. It's a very, very high risk shot when you're using loft, when you're using a lot of loft. Like you have to play it near perfection. The better option, and this is so you don't make those mistakes, is go for less loft. A little chip and run with an eight iron is such a safe shot. Play it more like a, a putter, grip down on the golf club, and it's much more like a putting stroke. You can land the ball closer to you and get the ball rolling quicker. As a percentage shot, the outcome will be so much more consistent. And also, I need to touch on this, shots like this, just from off the green. When you can, and I'm a big advocate of this, when you can, put. So I'm just off the side of the green here. I would happily take my putter because I've got nothing to get over. I know that getting the ball rolling is gonna give me a better outcome than getting it up in the air. Don't take too much loft, and if you can, put. You'll get closer to the hole. So before I come on to mistake number four, if you're enjoying the video, make sure you smash like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. How many of these mistakes do you make? Number four, mistake number four I see golfers make is that they'll often see the break of a putt, but they don't read the putt. And what I mean by that is they'll stand behind and establish whether a putt is right to left or left to right. That's dead common. You'll see a lot of golfers do that. And if you don't, you should but you don't often see golfers read the putt. You see the best players in the world do this, where they come and stand more to the side of the ball and establish whether it's uphill or downhill. So many golfers don't make that mistake until after they'll hit the putt and go, oh, 
I didn't realise it was downhill. Well, it's too late then, the putt's gone and you're going to leave yourself a nasty second putt coming back. Uphill or downhill establishes how much break is going to take place. Putts uphill don't break as much. Putts downhill break a lot more from right to left or left to right. Something to very much consider. Now this is pretty flat, this straight, but it is up the hill. So I've got to make sure I get it a little bit faster to get it towards the hole. But because I've read it from behind and the side, I'm having a better chance of holding those putts. Mistake number four, don't just see right to left and left to right. Make sure when you're on the putting green, you're gonna see up and downhill putts as well. It makes a massive difference. So mistake number five, and we've all done it. Just three putted the last hole. I've had a nightmare on the last hole. And you get to the next tee and you're angry. You're annoyed with yourself. And therefore, you don't plan. You don't do anything logically. You just grab a club and smack it as hard as you can and end up probably in a bunker or off the green. And suddenly you're compounding errors. It's a very common mistake and one that you need to completely stop. Take your time. Yeah, you three putted the last. You've had a nightmare, but now you're on a new hole. It's time to reset. It's time to think about what shot you have in hand. As opposed to getting angry, think about how you're gonna come back. So still go through your same planning, work out your distance, know how far you've got to hit the golf shot. Think about all the situate, all the things around you, the wind, the temperature, what club you need to hit. Focus back on the shot in hand because there's no point in dwelling on that bad hole, that bad shot that you've just played. It's time to come back and make a comeback on the very next hole. And hit an unbelievable shot and nearly hole it. Guys, if you enjoyed that video, make sure you smash like. If you make any of those mistakes, stop it. Get back on the track of making the right decisions out on the golf course and you'll lower your score. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.